Emil Jennings, July 23, 1884 January 2, 1950, was a Swiss-born German-Austrian actor. He was the first Oscar recipient and the only German actor ever honored with the Academy Award for Best Actor. At the 1929 ceremony, Jennings is best known for his collaborations with F.W. Murnau and Joseph von Sternberg, including 1930's The Blue Angel, with Marlene Dietrich, but Jennings later starred in a number of Nazi propaganda films, which made him unemployable as an actor after the fall of the Third Reich. Jennings was a theater actor who went into films, though he remained dissatisfied with the limited expressive possibilities in the silent era, having signed a contract with the UFA production company. He starred in Diogen der Mumima, The Eyes of the Mummy, 1918, and Madame de Berry, 1919, both with Paul Negri in the main female part. He also performed in the 1922 film version of Othello and in F.W. Murnau's The Last Laugh, Der Letzte Man, 1924, as a proud but aged hotel doorman who was demoted to a restroom attendant. Jennings worked with Murnau on two other films, playing the title character in Herr Tartuff, 1925, Variety. 1925, and his Mephistopheles in Faust, 1926. His increasing popularity enabled Jennings to sign an agreement with Paramount Pictures and eventually follow his acting colleagues Lubitsch and Negri to Hollywood. He started his career in 1927 with The Way of All Flesh directed by Victor Fleming, now lost, and in the following year performed in Joseph von Sternberg's The Last Command. In 1929 Jennings won the first Best Actor Oscar for his work in both films. He and Sternberg also cooperated in Street of Sin, 1928, though they actually differed about Jennings acting in front of the camera.